My name is Renee Thompson. I work with Fayetteville 911 Communications in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm the 911 coordinator, and this is Miranda, our therapy dog. Miranda's responsibility and purpose in the 911 Center is to um, help relieve some stress. Um, we work in a stressful situation 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And when Miranda goes through the Calm Center, people enjoy taking a little bit of a break, um, petting her, hanging out with her. Um, it's just a calming situation, so she helps everybody get through their day. There's a difference between a service animal and a therapy dog. A service animal provides a service for a single person, um, so that dog would just work with that individual. A therapy dog provides a service to um, everybody. Um, they're approachable, um, they're for people, um, they're there to make people feel better, um, but a service dog is just for the one individual. Miranda became a therapy dog by first taking a six-week course um, in a local um, dog training facility, Cape Fear Dog Training. There's no breed restrictions on therapy dogs and um, which kind of dog can be a therapy dog. Um, there are stipulations on, um, you can't go through the six-week course until the um, canine or dog has reached one year of age. Um, if you have a therapy dog, you always want to make sure that you know your surroundings and what's around the dog and who's around the dog. Um, there are several people that do not like animals, dogs specifically, um, so you have to respect their feelings and their wishes and um, stay away. Um, keep your distance from the people that may be scared or afraid of animals. Um, there is a strong misconception about certain breeds of dogs, um, so also you have to be weary of that because you don't want to upset anybody or scare them on the type of dog that you have. Um, Miranda is a pit bull boxer mix and just the word pit bull sometimes scares people, but um, it's all in how the dog is raised. Um, so she's a pretty, pretty nice dog.